Zastan defines and manages the state within custom hooks and can be set up really fast. If you're thinking whether to choose Redux or Zastand, Zastand is a great choice for simple apps versus Redux, which is better for more complex applications. Here I have a fresh new copy of Next.js and first thing I'm going to do is to install the Zastand package. So I'm using pmpm add, you can use npm install or yarn install or bun, whatever you prefer. And we installed our Zastand dependency 4.5.2. And now we are going to create inside of our app directory, a new directory called stores. And inside of our stores folder, we are going to create a store for each entity that we want to save within our state management tool, in our case, Zastand. So I'm going to create, for example, user store.ts. So we are using TypeScript, we are not using JavaScript. And here we need to import the create method from Zastand and that one is used to create our store. So here I'm going to create an interface for our user. So let's imagine some data that we are going to use. So user would probably have some kind of ID that is going to be a number, name that should be a string and email also. And I think that's enough. So this is our type of data that we are going to store inside of our user store. And now we need to create a method that we are going to call for our state. And that one, we are going to call it use user store. So this is the convention that usually everyone are using. So we have use prefix in the beginning. Then we have the entity that we are saving inside of our state. And that's the user in our case. And after that store, and that one is going to use create here from Zastand. And that one is going to be a function where we are going to put a setter like this. And inside we need our callable user state. So that one can be null in the beginning because let's say our user is not logged in yet. Next thing we need is the update method that we are going to call in order to update our current state user. So for that, we are going to have an input parameter called user and then for that we are going to set our current user to this user that we are sending inside of this parameter and now it's complaining because we didn't create the type so I'm going to create a new interface and call it user store like this so first parameter is going to be a user that's this one and it's going to be type of user that we have already created here. And the other one is going to be update, where we are going to send the user with the type of user again. And that one is just going to be a void simple function. And we're going to put that new interface here. So now it should be good. We have complaining here yeah, about the null. So we're just going to put here that our user can be null also. And now everything looks fine, except we just need to export our use user store. And now it's actually callable from our page. Let's go now to our page and there we are going to call our user. So we are going to use the structuring for this one from our use user store. And it's imported automatically here. And as you can see, it only works in client components. So I'm going to put use client. This is because we are using Next.js. And now we don't have any errors. And here we can display actually our current user. So I'm going to put here json.stringify and our current user is null. So that one is good because our default value here, as we put it here, is null. So let's create the update function and call it here and create some mock user and update our user. So let's quickly here create one button. We're going to call it update user. And inside we're going to call a function handle update user. And we are going to create a method for that. So handle update user. It's going to be an array function and inside we are going to create a new user. So let's just create some mocks. So we need an ID, we need a name, 
it can be orc dev and we need an email it can be just orc at example.com so that one should be a valid user for us and then here we need to call our update so here it is and we're just going to say update user that's it so now when we hit update here we should here it should change it from now to this org dev user let's test it out click that's it it's updating our state and our current user inside of our zastan state management is actually this one it's not null anymore and that's it we have successfully implemented zastan state management tool and now we can update our user store for whatever is needed for our application and here inside of your store you can determine here the default value of your state so it doesn't need to be null you can even call here something from your api and just put that value for your starting state point i hope you like this one warriors join the horde and subscribe for more